Good morning, Kickstarter backers. So I'm just about to go outside and start up the printers for the day. And uh, a lot of people were interested in seeing more about the painting process. And it's still a work in progress. Uh, I'm going to be trying a couple of things this week. So before we get to that, I wanted to uh, give you a quick tour of the production process first. Uh, so I, right here at my, at my work area here, uh, you can see I've got some uh, some boards and, and dice that I'm putting together. I have piles of boards and I've got spreadsheets keeping track of these, the diamonds that are all here. I've got to get this all organized. Um, and this 3D printer in the corner is where the dice are printed because this is my only 3D printer that can do dual color. And so these are the dice and we'll come back later and I'll show you the dice because there's something really cool about that. Let's go outside and check out the setup that I got out there. My neighbor's mowing his lawn. Of course he is. First thing in the morning. So there we go. But hey, here at 3D Printing Professor LLC, janky is the word. Uh, here is my ANET A8. This is the one that's capable of printing bigger printers and I am losing. <laughs> I just lost another one. Uh, I got to fix my cable chain. It's, it's not holding together the way that it should. Um, over here we have the, uh, uh, we have a mini on each side and this mini is set up to print the pieces that are going to go in there and this mini is set up with transparent filament to print the diamonds. Except not today because they're both going to get packed up and taken with me to a class, a 3D printing class that I'm teaching. But usually I get all three of these running. Now uh, this is just in a shed in my backyard. It's not really, uh, yeah, this is storage and stuff. It's not really an official setup. I threw this together just really quickly so that I can get the orders out as quickly as I can. And I hope to make this more official later and make it better. Uh, but for now, this is just, I'm, I'm literally running power out there and I don't run it all night. In fact, I don't run it past three o'clock because the heat gets so high. There's my neighbor with his lawnmower. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just a quick setup that I need to do, but I really, I hope to take some of the Kickstarter funds and, and insulate this and run power to it officially and make this an official setup. So there we go. There's, there's the printers that are making your, your boards and, and pieces and, die, and, and, and tokens and really cool stuff. So I hope, hope that's really cool. Let's go back inside where it's less noisy. All right. Back at the workbench where we can have good sound and good lighting and uh, the board that I just pulled off of there. So uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna be spending uh, a little bit of the morning recording videos for YouTube. Uh, so the review that you see, I'm about to record it, uh, but I thought that I'd, I'd get in this a little bit before I did that. Uh, so gotta put on a tie for that. Uh, but, oh, but I wanted to show you guys uh, the dual colored dice cause they're super cool. Uh, this is the only printer right here that I have that can print these dice because it's got two nozzles. All my other printers are single nozzle machines, uh, which is fine. Most of the time single nozzles are fine, but you know, occasionally you want to do something cool. And so dual color. And what's really neat about these is, uh, uh, the way that they print, um, they come with this little shell on the outside of them because the second nozzle tends to drool. And so in order to prevent that, it puts this shell around there so it can wipe off. You can see here that there's a ton of little dubers that they're all wiping off. So you get to break the shell on that to get it to dice underneath. And it's just this satisfying little moment, you know, kind of like cracking the, the top of a creme brulee. And there are your dice. I seem to be having trouble with the third dice here. It tends to just not work. Uh, and so what I've been doing for that is uh, I tried cleaning them up, scraping them off. It doesn't work. Uh, right now I'm just throwing them away and uh, <laughs> you know just using the good ones. So there are still some um, imperfections 
in the print and all of the print and I hope that you guys will forgive me of those uh, we'll just call it a little bit of character for the uh, for the print uh, but otherwise hmm, boy these do not want to come off hold on for a second I have a I have a tool to help with that there we go there we go one down two down I need to figure out I, I, I hate wasting a dice but if I only put three dice it still ruins it I could print two dice at a time but then I'll be changing filaments all day long I don't know it's still a it's still a little bit of a work in progress but um, we can I can run that off after I'm done with my video today and and after I'm about to run to my classes so there we go uh, I've got a large board here to, to paint uh, I've got the smaller board here that I tried the initial paint job on, but I it's just it's just not an acceptable quality, which I was hoping we'll talk more about that in a later video about what I was trying to do and what I'm going to end up doing and we'll see uh, if we can meet somewhere in the middle here. So I hope you're excited for that. But there is there is the production process. Here is how your your uh, uh, boards are made. Uh, manufactured and then uh, for those of you who are getting the multicolored boards uh, painted we'll go over that process afterwards or you know for you who are getting the single color boards and you want to paint it yourself we'll talk a little bit about that uh, this week I'm going to be working on perfecting that process so hopefully next week I'll have something to tell you guys about that so I hope that this has been educational and helpful for you I thank you guys very much for watching as I always say safety first and I'll see you next time